Next question is from Fulvio Castle. What are your thoughts on incline versus flat close grip bench press for tricep development? Oh. Yeah. I picked this for you, Adam, because oh, yes. you're the first person that I ever heard say that they, they first off, I've never seen, I'd never done or seen an, a close grip incline press. The only way I'd ever seen it or done it before was flat. Yeah. You're the first person that ever said, oh, it's superior on the incline. And I've tried it and I do like it a lot. I love it. Yeah, I do. It's one of my explanations for it is that it, if because you're on the incline, it, it increases the amount of elbow uh, flexion and extension, which is where the tricep comes from. So it encourages this like combination skull crusher press versus here on the flat, I might have a tendency to not do lots of elbow flexion. And bring my hands a little too low and get more shoulder. That's that. That's what I. It get is the. It. It's yeah. the angle. I just the. It feels way more comfortable on the incline than it does on the flat. On the flat, and also too the the um. You know when you're pushing on the flat bench, you tend to kind of like the shoulders kind of roll forward and push yeah, yeah. there, where the incline kind of promotes that the shoulders staying back and then really extending with the. So I fell in love with it, and it um. You know, and there's uh, which one? Which one of those internet trolls was? Talking shit about us saying that uh, incline, or I mean, yeah, the close grip bench press is a terrible tricep exercise. Oh, did somebody say that? Yeah, yeah. I think it was that one clown you always get in a fight with. The one that uh, <laughs> who cares? What's yeah. his name? The, trying the, to be a nice guy. You know now. what I'm talking about? The 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 one that I think blocked you later on. Oh, the I don't body, say steroided out dude. Uh, that's yeah. like, we've given him using the attention. studies all the time because what they 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 make these cases that you know these isolation exercises like a skull crusher or tricep push down activates more the Come tricep on. than this compound lift. Does. I hate those studies sometimes. I know. And, you know, I was caught in that. I was caught in that same trap that all I did was tricep push down, skull crushers and stuff like that, which great exercises for the triceps. I'm not saying that. But the close grip bench press, in, in particular the incline, put more mass on my triceps than anything else that I did. Because I could get to a place where I was doing 225 in that position. You and load it substantially. Exactly. And I couldn't, I can't skull crush that. Listen, I can't I, tricep push down One that. of the only body parts I have where I'm relatively gifted is triceps. And I can tell a dramatic difference when I stop doing close grip presses and dips and just stick to tricep extension, overhead, cable, side, whatever. I can tell. I can tell in my tricep development every single time. So those compound lists for those smaller body parts, I mean, it's funny because nobody would make the argument for like chest and lats. Nope. Because I could show you the same studies that show you that no, cable it's the same, fly. It's the same science nerds yeah. that want to use the muscle activation angle always. Yeah. Just like, oh, there's you do a skull crusher or you do a tricep push down and it yeah. lights the triceps up and, and very little anywhere else. Where if you do a flat bench, shoulders get activated, chest gets yeah, involved in there. That's a great point. Like you don't see that with the chest. You don't see that with flies, like versus like a bench press. Everybody knows you build more muscle with a bench press. Yeah. I tell you what, I, you, if you did a really good straight arm pull down or a really good cable fly, it would light up on those studies. You're gonna do. You're gonna build a bigger chest doing that than you are benching, or bigger back doing a straight arm pull down than you are with a barbell row. Right. No, you're right. not. This is the same people that say that deadlifts. Don't build the back, which blows my mind. By the way, deadlifts, pro bodybuilders now are starting to do it. I a know. lot of them. I see a ton of them now. You know I mean, why? I see a ton of them. It, this is just bodybuilding. It's because the, if the champion does them, then everybody starts doing them. But I think now people are starting to feel and see like, oh, this actually makes a difference. Yeah, this actually contributes. I, if you are trying to develop massive triceps and you you absolutely, in my opinion, have to have close grip bench press in there and or yeah. dips, those two movements- yes. Now, I do want to say right. one thing is don't go too narrow. This is the big mistake a yeah, lot of people make. Yeah, because this, width. it'll hurt your wrist. I mean, I, I, I coach shoulder width. Yep. So, we're, you know, right, right where you're at, go straight to the bar. That's so, it. Yeah. And then the key is in the elbow ex extension and flexion. That's so such a good point, too, Sal, because people get so hung up and like, oh, it's close grip. So how close can I get? No. Oh, and it's yeah, like, and then no, you end up no, flaring no, no. way out. Yes. And it's just like, dude, if you, and your wrist if you are straight on there, I mean, it's, yeah, it's weird press. primarily... Uh, triceps right there. It's such a great movement. It's one of my favorite movements for a triceps development. Agreed.